Hello and welcome to a Smurf P video and yes, we have a box. No, I'm just kidding, we have HasLab goodness with victory. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd do an unboxing because, well, do I do unboxings? No, I probably don't. But I thought for this, I have to do unboxing. I did it with uh, uh, Galactus where I wanted to show you what sort of box this comes into. So literally it came in this box and then it had some sort of contraption wrapped around it due to the size, um, which I found very surprising because uh, Hasbro Pulse, is obviously where, where I backed this uh, a year ago, um, usually have crazy massive boxes that they send one little figure in. So I just thought it was <laughs> strange that they struggled with this. So anyway, so if I'm behind the camera, hi. Um, but <laughs> um, I just wanted to do this on camera, wow. I'm so excited, look at this. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. And it comes with, so inside there is some little plastic stuff to try and keep it safe. Not really sure how that works. And let's lift that up. There we go. I really hope you were seeing this. That is immense in terms of, let me take this off camera. Oh, come on. So it's got like this outer shell and it looks absolutely gorgeous in terms of how it looks. And then in the background, you can see this sort of metallic look of Star Saber in there. Or is that them combined? Maybe, I'm not sure. On the top, Victory Saber. On the side, Transformers, V for victory, and then on the back, you've got a promo shot there with the stand, the weapons, and then it in its V-Star jet mode. Down there, HasLab, Generations Autobot, Authentic, and then lots of jargon. So I'm just gonna, oh, okay, take that off. Oh, sorry, I missed this bit as well. So this is a very important bit. So Autobot Saber, Victory Leo, Brain of Courage, Huli, Huli, and Autobot Fire, which was the other little bot. And underneath you just have this red box. Oh my, wow, okay. I wasn't really expecting it just to be dropped out of the box like that. Um, otherwise I would have prepared myself better, but literally you take out the box and there it is. And then you can see you got instructions to there. Oh my goodness, that was almost a disastrous unboxing bit. But you can see you got the weapons on the top. And inside here, um, which is, I would literally have to take this apart. You can, and it's very hard for me to show you. Because you got all these little modes, etc. I'm sorry, this is a terrible video. I've never done anything like this. And then a very classic look there, which is um, pretty cool. So it's just, I'm sorry, I'm doing this on the fly now. This is not how I usually operate. I usually just have a stand and it's nice and easy. With the bigger figures, it's not so easy. So we've got all the accessories there, it looks like. Take that off and then, I'm trying to think, where can I put that there where it's safe? And then we turn it around, oh, and there we go. There is Victory Star Saber and Leo, Victory Leo. Now, Victory Leo is, um, I'm not going to lie to you folks, I have no affiliation with these characters. However, seeing HasLab do this, I felt the need to also do this, to, to invest and review for you guys and i'm hoping that some of you folks have got yours on the way as well but yeah there's just a quick look at it so i'm going to get these out and we can have a, a better look okay firstly if you've just survived that awful awful opening of my unboxing um thank you very much um i really do appreciate you sticking around it's not i'm usually actually quite um better at the the bigger reviews i usually take more of a time but that was an absolute disaster now in terms of that inner box that i tried to show you um so so painfully 
um, in disastrous ways. Um, after thinking about it, you can just open it gently. So um, I will show that towards the end of the review. But after that horrible dis start, I just wanted to get stuck in and start showing you these awesome, awesome figures from HasLab stroke Hasbro. So um, Victory Saber has been done by um, Transformers Masterpiece. So there is already that figure out. And I think that on its own was a reasonable price. This is generally for, I guess, the chug world as it's put. Now, the good thing about this is we've already got another HasLab, which is Defasaurus. I think I've said that right, which is um, already backed. I've already backed it. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see that next year. Um, so already a good start. Now, there are still other characters that I honestly do hope that they review, release, uh, etc. And perhaps more in general start releasing some of these figures. I feel like that would be really good. They have this massive Transformers legacy line. So why not do that? So let's firstly, so there's two figures here. Let's start with uh, Star Saber. He literally comes like this in a hole. So um, usually I would start off the other way around. I'd start off with the smaller butts and big it up to this. But however, it's come like this. So let's have a good, good look at this figure like this. You can, I mean, when I look at this already, you can almost feel that it feels like it's disjointed. It doesn't look like a, a solid piece. I mean, you've got the robot here that has transformed to make the, the centerpiece, etc., and the rest, it will become shuttle in orc mode, etc. So, um, I'm just going to take my camera off again. Bear with me. Because I just want to get in there, and so you can see a real, real closer look, etc. You can see the little head peeking under there. These antennas do move, which I think is very, very cool. But the detail on this figure does look very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Very shiny. Scroll down some really, really nice paintwork. I'm not seeing anything stands out. You can see the usual pins in various places throughout this figure. Now we gently go down to the legs. And even the inner legs look very, very nice there as well. And you get the feet. Come up to the arms. Got this beautiful, beautiful Autobot Sigma, which looks absolutely crazy, crazy beautiful. We turn to the side and we got this quality shield, etc. Once again, and then you got these little pieces on the back, which um, probably form part of that orb mode when Jet, when it turns into a, a Jet or a Starfighter, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm not of Faye with uh, Victory as a series. I remember watching it and I actually tried buying the DVD the other week. So I thought, actually, do you know what? I actually should watch this before I do this review. And I think it's because it is obviously in subtitles. I just kept putting it off and then I didn't buy it when it was probably dirt cheap and now you can't get it. So I will eventually get that. And as Transformer fan, I'm embarrassed because I should have watched it. Now, this bit automatically reminds me of Ultra Magnus in terms of that little cockpit, etc. And then you can see the, the star wings on the back there. And it all looks, it does look all very, very tight. I mean, you can see a little bit of um, the jet mode from the smaller butt there. But it does look very, very tidy in terms of how this looks. So I'm going to just put this back on here. There we go, carefully. Don't drop it, come on, stay still. Right, so firstly, we have this beautiful, beautiful shield. Now, you've got these little pieces here that you can pop it on there if you like. And very, very nifty. This bit just turns around as well. So I guess you can, you can take this on. I'm not sure if that is pivotal to the transform mode. I will find that out. And then he's got this hand. Now, the hands do open. And that little piece flicks in there. But if you flick it out, there's a little hole there that you can just carefully pop this in. 
and then he is holding his shield, which is very, very cool. And then I just want to bring you to his sword. Once again, on this hand, it just slots in very, very nicely. Which looks very, very awesome like that. Now, when you take this bit out, I meant to do that carefully, by the way. I meant to do that very carefully. I do apologize. And then if you pop this bit back in, it just brings this little piece up there. I'm not sure if you saw that. And it just reduces that a little bit as well. And then this bit can literally slip in there, which I thought was very, very nice. Now, in terms of this, I'm not sure where this hides. <laughs> um, I didn't really think that bit through. I probably should have. But um, there is plenty here. You know, you can stick that on the back there. It does stick in there very, very nicely. There we go. So you can put that in there if you like. just take that out as well i have no idea where to put that um but i will that's gonna bug me now i'm really really sorry about that because i should have been prepared for that oh oh i know where that goes so anyway you can take this bit and this bit just pops it just pop in there oh my goodness why am i doing this on screen i am so sorry I'm very sorry. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. So you can put this in here with a sword. I'm not entirely sure how, oh, maybe it just connects like that. There we go. So you can put that in like that and that. I'm very sorry, that was terrible, absolutely terrible. But that looks very cool. And now you can actually put that on there. And you can see that is very nicely put away and I'm totally embarrassed. I'm so sorry. I will say that a lot throughout this review, I suspect, because I am, as much as I try and be ahead of these things, um, I'm not so a fay with this figure or these modes. So, uh, I'm sorry. Anyway, enough of that. Let's carry on. So let's look at articulation. So the head can look up a little bit around and it can move left to right. I wouldn't push that because that looks like it could it shouldn't go any further. Now these bits do move around like so. Once again, this is very thin, be careful. I recommend. Now the arm can do a 360. Although, no up like that. Oh, you can connect, disconnect it there, which probably wasn't the best idea. You can disconnect it there to give it a little bit more leeway if you want. There is a si single on the arm swivel there and on the hand all the way around and then just that little hand bit which i think is very nifty okay swivel all the way and that can go all the way around that's quite cool i like that and then you can brings all the way the arms the legs all the way up to do the splits because this bit just pops up like so and then there's a swivel there Lift there, which is quite nice. Uh, no real other movement down here. And in terms of the legs, you can bring out like that, but that's not really going to do. But I think in this mode, you're going to be being careful. Anyway, I would recommend that. All oh, those bits have just popped out like that. Oh, and the head can sort of look up and down. Just, not, just be careful there because that just pops out a bit. Looks a bit weird. So I feel like you can still get them into some really nice poses. So I'm just going to move him out. Of the way. Oh, wait. No, I'm not going to do that yet. I was going to just quickly nip out the, um, the stand. But I will do that when I combine Star Saber with Leo Victory. So here is Leo Victory. And here is also one of the guns we unlocked. So we can hold it um i'll be honest with you it's massive that's a massive gun it's it's oh, as tall as him as leo which is um phenomenal and you can lift that up and you can put it on arms etc i think and be 
yeah, I'm sort of winging it with this gun. But this gun is massive. I would probably find it very hard for you to use. You've got this piece here as well, which you could perhaps, which can actually go on the back of Star Saber there. That helps if I find the right thing. I'm sorry, that was terrible. There we go. You can do that as well. So, but in terms of holding it, yeah, he does hold it. It does sort of work. I will, um, the other thing that I forgot was Star Saber because I'm going at 100 miles per hour and I'm thinking I'm done. When actually, I am not done. Stay still, Leo. Uh, you do come with, the, it does come with this nice little gun, which fits very, very nicely. I do like this as well. And you can get them into some nice poses with that. I feel like that's very cool. That is very cool. So anyway, we went back to victory. Leo, Leo victory. Actually, how is that pronounced? You would think that I would know. Victory Leo. I'm sorry for all those fans that are crying out saying, what are you going on about? I have no idea. I have no idea. Anyway, feel free to slight me because I have no idea. So it does come with these uh, A and B. And these just go on the backs here, etc., which looks very cool. I haven't put them on there. I'm kind of scared to put them on, to be fair. Um, but I will do that with a steady hand at some point. So there we go. Here is a Leo victory. Once again, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea about the character, so I, I really do feel a little bit sorry that, you know, I kind of let you down. But it just looks very, very menacing, and the sort of figure that sort of character you would perhaps want in your corner when you're in that fight. Some nice shiny stuff there. I'm glad that stuff's on there. Some really great detail all the way through. And then you got this Autobot sign down here. I love these little guns here. They are very awesome. Some big, solid legs that probably have parts for when he transforms as well. And on the back, just see how it looks. And then he has, obviously, the guns, which you can see most of his, uh, his head there. But you can take these guns off as well, if you like. And then you can have him... Can he hold them? Not very well. But you can put them on there. See, that looks very cool. I like that. That looks awesome. See, he is a very, very nice bot. I'm very, very impressed with this little bot. He looks very decent. For his size, he has some really great details on him. Brilliant. So, and he also obviously has his wings, which um, just step behind there. Obviously, you can extend them when you transform him, etc. And I will be combining him with Star Saber very, very shortly, but let's look at articulation first of all. So, the arms would go 360 if not for the wings. There is no movement there, but you can do that. There's a swivel there, and then there is no movement there. No movement on the waist, which is Disappointing. I'm very disappointed in that. Then the legs can go up like that. And they can swivel there. Go up like that. And then there's a little rotation there, which is odd because you're probably not going to get the best articulation out of that. So next up, let's have a look at the two smaller figures that come with these this set. Okay, so here were some of the, the extras from this HasLab. And we have Autobot Fire, because he's a fire engine. And uh, Holly. Um, yeah, which seems strange. So I'm not expecting very much from these figures. You know, there's a little bit of oh, popping out on, on camera. Oh my goodness, that's literally come out. Oh my, I didn't even touch that one. Um, so there is some articulation. And as you can see, they pop out really, really easily. Um, yeah, that's just 
from me completely. And then this one I feel is hopefully not going to pop out, but he has, sorry, some real nice movement. There's, there's a waist articulation. There is foot articulation as well. Uh, not much on the head, not really expecting that. So I'm going to get these transformed and hopefully I don't break anything else. Okay, here they are transformed and they are just as bad transforming as they are in this alt mode. Um, I, I understand what they were trying to do. They were trying to bank them a little bit better than what we've seen before. But I think they should have just gone simple, get to the bog standard little figures. I don't think anyone would have really... Uh, giving it that much uh, thought, or maybe somebody would have. We probably would. In fact, you know what? We probably would have complained, wouldn't we? Let's be honest. We're a bunch of complainers. Now, the cool thing about the fire dude is that he can, he's a. Uh, I forgot his name. All about fire, isn't it? God, terrible today. He does have this little bit, and this does move around. So I think this is very, very cool. Um, but he he just doesn't fit. It doesn't slide in very well. This bit sort of pops out. And it's just a little bit weird. If I'm being honest with you, they should have just gone simple. And I think we, we should have just pull up with it. Uh, and this was probably the worst one to transform. I still feel like it's not perfect. But they are okay. They do whatever it is they need to do. So, without a do, let's... Uh, Transform Star Saber with Victory Leo to create Victory Saber. Okay, so here is Victory Saber. And also, I have his beautiful, beautiful stand down there. Now, let's have a closer look. I'm going to try and do this without being too wobbly. So, first of all, Let's just turn it around to the back. So Leo is split into two parts, the wings and the guns, which sit very, very nice on the top. I do like them because you can just, they're just sliding there, but you can move them around, etc. And you can add on the blast effects. It's one of those moments where the blast effects really do take shape. And then pretty much the rest is Star Saber. It does uh, show on the instructions that ideally you add on the sword there, which looks pretty decent. I do like. Um, the shield and the big gun sort of become redundant in this. If you want, you can stick them on the back there. But with the stand on there, it's not really going to work. And then the rest of Leo's body changes into these features to make him taller which is pretty pretty decent um he does become very um sort of top heavy but i feel so i put the stand on there but i feel like he would be fine without the stand as long as you're very careful but like i said careful is probably the the nature of this figure you know it's a very expensive figure so just make sure you take that time to look after etc but the stand is very beautiful. I love the big massive V on there as well. And it's just a really, really nice mode. I think if this is a mode that I would certainly feel like I would want to keep this in. Um, now, I can't remember because I never watched it. If this is the mode that he ends up finding Deathsaurus in, that would be pretty cool as well. But I love it. I think it looks absolutely amazing. So, and I hope that I've done it uh, justice in terms of showing you how good this looks it looks absolutely amazing you can keep going there if you want it's entirely up to you so there we go so let's transform into the next mode which is autobot saber and the command base piece should be interesting okay so here is a uh, just saber and star that's why I'm calling them Star and Saber. So Saber Star in a sort of battle mode, which I'm not overly fond of. I'm not sure if this actually happened in the show, if I'm being honest with you. I've said it numerous times, I've not watched it. So if it does happen, kudos to them for making this happen. If not, um, this is okay. 
it's not Brent. I struggled to get this to pin on like it says. I'm not sure. That could be user error. Just unclear. And me being me, sometimes I'm not always perfect at these things. And I do make mistakes. So I, I feel like the way that this looks, I feel like they should have given us two guns to make this a match so it came out even. Um, you can, with these ones, and they do move up and down, you can add these little blast effects, which I feel do add value. There we go. Let's see what we just popped out. That's good, isn't it? Um, so like I said, not a fun, I literally just kind of drop it in there. Anyway, let's just put that there because I'm trying to make a point here and it slowed me down. There we go. Right. You could take the guns that came with the old victory. I feel, there we go. It's dropped again and you could add them on there or you could even add, take that one off and add them down there, which would have looked a little bit better in my mind. And perhaps a little bit more of a little sort of battle station, if that's what it's meant to be. Um, but it's okay. I don't mind it. Um, I'm never going to display it in this, let's be honest. I don't know anybody who would decide to display it in this. So there is the command center. It looks very, it looks all right. It is what it is, let's be honest. And um, I just seriously don't know why they didn't add those weapons in there. So let's have a look at Saber. He is who we've come to see on this part of the video and he does have a visor in it that sort of thread pipe uh, it's not really coming up which is a tad bit disappointing nice Autobot sign transformation is really easy and then you could stick this on there as well um, I would find it weird if you had him holding the sword, because the sword would be massive compared to him. Um, but he may do that in the show. You may want to do that. Also, this gun as well. You may want to hold that. But then again, that's quite big. So I feel like they've not given us proportioned weapons for Saber in particular. Now, bear in mind, most people are going to have this in star Saber mode or victory saber one or the other let's be honest um i don't know many people that are gonna have this little dude out on their shelf so they probably thought that hey you can get away with it but it would have been nice in my mind to have those proportions even with that massive mega gun it's huge you know i feel like it's even too huge for when they're the bigger figure so there's a little bit of articulation on the waist the head is very stiff the arm can almost do well, you can get it around. Just be wary of the back bit because it's going to turn into a little plane. Single on the elbow. No articulation on the hand other than you can push it in. Uh, he does. You can lift that up, but he's got a lot of kibble there. So he struggles. Uh, not much movement there. So this is what I would expect anyway. It was similar when we got... Um, oh, goodness. What's it called? the headmaster and exactly the same sort of premises as this but he does look cool and then you've got the brain of courage in there which i believe you just pop out so without ado i'm gonna pop that out so there you go and then you just sort of no, is that? No, yeah, I think that's it. And you just turn him around. So he's a little dinky dude, um, which is cool. Um, and his purpose is to sit in the carpet in a minute. So it does look cool. It's very minimal articulation. A little movement there, but, you know, I, di I didn't expect anything. But this is even smaller than some of the headmasters that we have seen in the past. So I'm going to firstly transform him into a little airplane mode. And quickly show you that and then i'm gonna tr transform uh, i'm gonna show you the the odd mode of um star saber all right so here is saber in his uh play mode 
and once again it looks very very cool very cool thing which i didn't figure out until i was about to do it was that this is actually the star saber sword so i do dig that a lot and then if you flick this piece up there you've also got what's it called brain of courage there you go and then you can just pop that out if you like pretty cool and then we are going to bring in the big one and i'm going to try okay so um i said i was going to do it on camera and then well i pressed the button and then i switched off um so anyway here it is in all its glory uh the star saber space craft um it doesn't feel very solid however there is another part to transform which involves uh victory leo where i will do that and that's towards the end of um this review in terms of this i feel like it's a bit of a mess you know when i looked at the pitch i thought wow that looks like a really cool sort of like landing pad on there i realized it was just a gun so the gun actually sits on top of here but because the the peg hole wasn't so nice Bear in mind, they've tried to compensate for the different levels. It just doesn't sit very, very nicely at all. And then you've got this gun, and once again, it just looks odd. I would have liked, if you had two of these, one on each side would look great. And then the big gun comes out for those big moments. It's, I don't know, taking out the big baddie or whatever. So, and then you just got this sort of covering this. Now, when Victory Leo goes in, I feel like this gap will be plugged a lot better. But at the moment, it feels very sort of hollow there and then we can really have a closer look at the back as well so i've added the blast effects which are very very decent i like that but you can really see there is a massive golf thing there nice beautiful autobot signs on there the colors are very vibrant and look very very nice and the front half looks very very solid and cool the headpiece on the top i think is a bit weird but that's me personally and then you get Brain of Courage still in there. But I feel it's still it's still a decent, decent ship. And one that I think by the end of this review, I would be satisfied to have on my shelf in this mode, so to speak. So there you have it. That's um let's now divert our attention to Victory Leo and his other two modes. Now, Leo Victory in Beast Mode, I guess. You can add on these beautiful big guns. Now, a good thing about these, once again, is they do move around sort of thing, so I think they're very cool. And you can add the little blast effects on there. I'm just gonna take them off a little bit as well because I want you to see Leo Victory. And you can add on the massive blast as well, which is Final Blaster Power whatever you want to call it anyway there is that beautiful head sculpt it just looks very very cool helps if i don't pop things out um <laughs> lucky for me it's nothing that is gonna can't even get that back in sorry this is very embarrassing what do you expect it's me uh there we go looks very cool it's got some nice little teeth detail in there the face looks very very nice and it is I feel like it's a very, very solid piece in terms of how he stands, etc. He's got a little bit of articulation on the feet as well. And then just going around, it just looks like a solid piece. So I, I feel like with these two guns, he looks a little bit better because you can see more of him. However, that, that final big gun coming in is also very, very nice. So it's a nice little mode. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to transform him to this sort of cannon mode i'm calling it and then you can uh, add that to the v star jet and that is our almost our final outing with this review you'll be pleased to know because um this is probably one of the longer videos that i've ended up doing um but, and it's because there are so many different modes to explore which is a lot of fun a real lot of fun you can have hours with this figure just messing around transforming him etc apologies folks i clearly made a mistake in terms of the transformation on that last piece the wings are actually tucked in a little bit more 
that like when he's in robot mode. There we go. So here is Victory Leo tank mode. That's what I'm calling it. Um, there are a few steps in between this and transforming him. So I will do that off camera. It's uh, not a simple connect like I was hoping for. Uh, you can, if you want, in this mode, add some blast effects, which are great. They look great. And, you know, so to speak. There we go. It looks very, very cool. I do think that looking at it like that, that looks cool. I guess the thing that I was a little bit irritated is that this just doesn't slot in somewhere. Um, it just feels a little bit weird. But looking at it from this angle, it doesn't actually stand out that bad. And continues to have the characteristics of Victory Leo. So there we go. Tank mode. Okay, so here is the Star Jet. And on the stand. I'm not going to move this because the stand, it just sort of slit, sits on it. And I worry that it's going to drop off. But it looks absolutely phenomenal completed like that what i'm going to do is i'm going to carefully take it off the stand but i just wanted to show you it on the stand so you can experience that as well okay I'll take it off so literally this piece literally just sits there and i just not a fan of it if i'm being honest with you i'm not a fan of stands um some work out really well some not so very well so here it is and like i was saying uh, earlier when i was viewing this part of it it does feel more solid now you can see how this sort of gap has been filled in although you do have um a head at the back which is a little bit weird i'm just dropping off effects this bit does slide around a little bit as well and some of the things that irritated me on the first time they're still <laughs> that looks ridiculous now they are still there but it is still a very, very beautiful, beautiful ship. And just like in when it's all together, I feel like this is a nice mode to put on your shelf. Obviously, it's still not going to uh, compare to Victory Saber in robot mode, but you've got the opportunity to show it like this. Some people are probably brought two to show it, one and the other, which is very cool. Very cool. So there we go. As promised, I wanted to show you a uh, better look at this as well after my poor attempt at the beginning of the video. So you can see all the different modes, which is really, really cool. I feel like maybe I've put that on the stand incorrectly, but I'll have a closer look in a minute. And I'm gonna carefully, carefully turn this around so we can see this. And it's almost like a, a massive Poster, so you can see Star Saber holding the gun and the sword, and then a picture there as well. And then one of those classic, classic posters from the 80s on the back of toys. You can see that as well. And then one more thing it does come with this beautiful little poster as well. So you got Deathosaurus in the background looking menacing, Victory Leo and Star Saber. And the little bots as well. Holly and Autobot Fire. Yeah. For me, this is an amazing, amazing set. And I'm glad HasLab did this. Um, you know, compared to the fact that we've seen a masterpiece Star Saber, it was, um, I think that they've done a, a, an amazing, amazing job indeed. And it does look absolutely sensational and it's it's a brilliant set for those hardcore g1 fans this is a beautiful piece to have on your shelf so i highly highly recommend it um hopefully those that were at a back here getting as now um and if you missed out um i i hope nobody's bumping up the price etc but it is worth it is worth spending that little bit of money and investing in this because this piece is perhaps going to be worth even more in five to ten years, for example. So you could look at it as an investment piece as well.
other than that, uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Um, if you survived this video, thank you very much. Um, make sure you look after yourself. Very important these days. Thank you to those that are subbed to my channel. I really appreciate you folks already. Make sure you look after yourself once again. I'm going to keep saying that. It is important. And as always, embrace geekiness. Goodbye.